I'm Isabel from Birchbox. I'm the store director at our brand new store in Soho, and I'm also a makeup artist. And one of the questions that we get quite often is how do you wear makeup with glasses? Well, I wear glasses myself, and so I wanted to show you some of my favorite tips on emphasizing your makeup when you're wearing glasses. So you wanna keep your face pretty minimal and bright. So I've already prepped my skin with a powder foundation, contoured my cheeks with some bronzer, and put a little bit of peachy blush for some pop. Depending on how blind you are, you may need a mirror that has a magnified side so that you can look at the details of, say, your liquid liner. Glasses can actually accentuate any darkness that you have underneath your eyes. The first thing that you want to do is actually start out with a concealer that's going to brighten the eye area. I love the Marcel BB Roll-On Eye Concealer and it's super easy to apply. First you just want to start with a little dab and then blending it with your finger and definitely going into the corner of the eye if you have any discoloration there. This is a really great one too because it's not going to actually settle into your lines at all. Now we have to prep the top for our eyeshadow. My favorite eyeshadow primer is the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. And I'm gonna just take a little bit of this and put this all over my lid. So now that our eyes are nice and primed and ready to go, the key to getting a really great look when you're wearing glasses is actually to accentuate your natural eye shape. So we're actually gonna start out with a highlight underneath our brow and then go with the contour that's in our crease. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick and put this just underneath my brow and on my lid and blend it with a brush. So just doing a nice smudge of that underneath the brow and then blending it out is good. And you wanna go with a shade that's not too shimmery because you don't want it to compete with your glasses or your look. And you can even dab just a little bit extra on this inner corner of your eye just to give it a little bit more pop there. Now next is my contour color. I'm gonna use the Cynthia Raleigh Beauty palette number two and the color I'm choosing is Cloud. And it's a nice contour color because it's more neutral and it's a matte texture. Now it's really important to use a nice fluffy brush for this because you want to blend this and really just accentuate the contour without having a lot of color just sitting there. So you want to first just start out by placing this right into your crease here. Then you're going to start to do more of like a windshield wiper motion and placing the color into the crease. Then I'm going to start to do little circles to blend it out. So kind of like when you're brushing your teeth and you're doing little tiny circles to make sure that you're getting it all done. For underneath the lash line, we want to accentuate the lash line without being too harsh. We're gonna go for another color that's in the palette. It's called Licorice. That's gonna give us the right amount of definition. You wanna put it just really gently underneath the lash line to create a nice shadow without having that harsh line there. And I like to start at the end and work my way in. And then you can use your blush to kind of buff it out as you go. All right, so our shadow is done. So now we're gonna move on to our liquid liner. Now this is where we can have a lot of fun. The thicker that your glasses are, the thicker that you can go with your line and you can really play it up and have a lot of fun and have a really flirty cat eye or you can have just a subtle look for every day. My glasses are a little bit on the thicker side so I'm going to show you guys how to have a really dramatic look. I'm going to use the Cynthia Raleigh liquid eyeliner and I really like this one because it has a felt tip so it's not messy at all so it's going to wear all day long without having to worry about it at all. You want to start in the center of your eye and work your way out. You're going to do light feather strokes and you don't have to worry about making a straight line, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Now this is when you can work on your mirror face a lot and make those funny faces to make sure that you can see what you're doing. And you wanna do a triangle right on the corner to create that cat eye, and then filling it in. All right, so I got my wing. Now I'm gonna go back to the center and work my way out. All right, so liquid liner's done, and it's totally sassy and winged out and gonna go great with my thick framed glasses. So now we're gonna move on to some mascara. Now this is where your eyes are gonna really pop. I like to use one that's a really high impact volumizing mascara. We wanna get a nice, good coating of mascara so that our eyelashes are really popping. Now if you're lucky enough to have really long eyelashes that touch your frames, or your lenses when you are blinking, 
then you want to make sure that you have it dry before so you don't have little smudges on the lenses. Now we want to make sure that we are accentuating our natural brow shape so that it doesn't get lost behind our glasses. I love the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo and with an angled brush it's really easy to do light feather strokes into your brows to give you a perfect natural look. So dabbing into both colors and starting at the inner point of your brow and then just doing light feather strokes outward, it's going to give you a really natural look. Now when you're doing this outer part here where your arch is, you don't want it to be too harsh. Just really blend it with the brush. Now if you have some sparseness in your brows like I do, this is the perfect shadow to give you a little bit more of a full look. So now it's time for our lips. So right now we have a really defined eye and we're going to have our glasses on. So it's really important for us to balance that out with a brighter lip color. So I've chosen the Laura Mercier lip color in Sexy. It's a brighter red, but it has more of a sheer tint, so it's great for a day look. All right, so my day look is done. Time for some glasses. So it's gonna be really easy to take this day look into a night look. I'm just gonna add the Laura Mercier Lip Glacé. So it's a deeper burgundy color that's gonna really make this look pop. And I'm ready for tonight. So this is my favorite look when I'm wearing glasses. I hope you enjoyed and you should definitely share your tips with us as well. And also what other tutorials you'd like to see. Bye.